Hello guys and welcome and welcome back to this in Canada. I hope you are all happy, healthy and fine. So in this video, we will talk about monthly expense of an international student in Canada. How much it will cost you to live in Canada on monthly basis. So a video is not discouraged or that it will cost a lot to stay in Canada. But you should know beforehand how much it will cost. When I was in India also, I used to be very scared that ke enna sara kharcha kime hoega but trust me when you will come here you can do everything once you get your part-time job it will be sorted out so don't worry but be prepared from before now every student will have different monthly expenses and it will also depend upon which province you will be going to which city you will be going to whether you will be living far from your university or college or you will be living nearby so it depends a lot on location and also lifestyle if you like to eat outside or if you like to cook at home or if you like to do a lot of shopping so it all depends upon which various factor but in general kuch fixed costs hunde ne jo ki tusi avoid nahi kar sakde and there are few variable costs which can be avoided according to the lifestyle so these are all the general expenses which we will be discussing in this video now let's talk about the first monthly expense which is rent jo ki sab to bada expense hoega when you will come as an international student now rent will also depend upon your location agar tusi ontario vich hoge your rent will be higher than if you are living in manitoba right and also within the province it also depend upon city some cities are expensive than other when i used to live in kitchener waterloo when i was studying in university of waterloo i lived in kitchener as well as waterloo and after that i moved to toronto when i got my job so when i was in kitchener we used to the first apartment we had was of two bedroom apartment now kitchener is little farther from waterloo university it used to take us about 15 20 minutes by bus and we used to pay for two bedroom apartment around 980 dollars every month and when i moved to toronto firstly i was living in a shared accommodation but after that i moved to one bedroom apartment and now i pay around 1600 dollar per month so now you can see that kinna zyada different when you are living in kitchener versus when you are living in toronto but let's talk about how much it will cost you as a student now when you are living in a shared room in an apartment it can cost you about 250 dollars to 350 dollars but then you have to share your room with somebody else maybe your friend or somebody you have to share your room but if you don't want to share your room with anybody matlab tu se kalle rehna chahndo apni room vich then you have to pay around 500 dollar to 700 dollar it will depend upon location if you are living closer to university or college then you will have to pay higher than if you are living farther away from your school So when I was living closer to University of Waterloo I have paid around 500 to 550 dollars per month. So on average I will say that it will cost you around 500 dollar to 700 dollar per month if you are not sharing your room with anybody else. Now we have covered about rent. Now the second monthly cost which will occur is groceries. Your food cost, right? ਹੁਣ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੇ ਸਭ ਨੇ ਫੂਡ ਤਾਂ ਖਾਣਾ ਹੀ ਹੈਗਾ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਕੋਸਟ ਯੂ ਅਬਾਊਟ 200 ਡਾਲਰਸ ਟੂ 300 ਡਾਲਰਸ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਅਪਾਨ ਯੂਰ ਲਾਈਫਸਟਾਈਲ ਅਗੇਨ ਡਿਪੈਂਡਿੰਗ ਅਪਾਨ ਯੂਰ ਲਾਈਫਸਟਾਈਲ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਈਵਨ ਕੋਸਟ ਯੂ 150 ਡਾਲਰਸ ਬਟ ਔਨ ਐਵਰੇਜ ਇਟ ਯੂਸਟ ਯੂ ਕੋਸਟ ਮੀ 200 ਡਾਲਰਸ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ 200 ਡਾਲਰਸ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਥੈਟ ਯੂ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਗੁੱਡ ਫੂਡ ਲਾਈਕ ਫਰੈਸ਼ ਫਰੂਟਸ ਵੈਜੀਟੇਬਲਸ ਨਟਸ ਮਿਲਕ ਐਗ ਦਾਲ ਆਟਾ ਚਾਵਲ ਐਵਰੀਥਿੰਗ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਸੋ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ can cost you around 200 dollars now 200 dollars is for your groceries this doesn't include eating out i used to cook at home and i used to eat very less outside like in a month i will say i used to eat like two three times outside but mostly i used to cook at home and now also i cook at home because cooking home is firstly healthier and second it is very cheaper than eating outside now i'm not here to tell you whether you should cook at home or you should eat outside it totally depends upon you and now the third fixed cost which you can't avoid is your phone bill now you will have a cell phone you will also have a 
front plan right so i used to pay and it is very <laughs> funny i used to pay only 25 dollars per month when i was student 25 dollars per month is i think it is cheapest phone plan you will ever heard in canada 25 dollars but i used to only have 500 mb of data and in 25 dollars for one year i used to get 10 dollars cash back but i only had 500 mb of data and it was just a 3g but it didn't affect me that much because because Wi-Fi is almost everywhere at at home Wi-Fi is there at university Wi-Fi is there I was paying only $25 but now I'm paying $45 and I have 5 GB of data so I did upgrade now it is 4G not 3G but yes now phone plan will also depend upon whether you are buying a phone with your phone plan or not and if you are buying a phone with your phone plan then it can cost you more than hundred dollars and in my suggestion by no way i'm saying that kita no edda hi karna chahiye jida main kita but i never bought phone on installment which means that i never bought a phone with my phone plan i don't i'm not sure if you will be buying 25 dollar phone plan or not but it can cost you from 40 dollar to 60 dollar your phone bill can cost you 40 dollar to 60 dollar now moving forward to fourth monthly expense in canada which can be your hydro and wi-fi bill try to look for apartment basement housing anything which already have wi-fi and hydro included just in case your accommodation doesn't have and you want to keep that buffer hydro which is your electricity bill can cost up to 20 to 30 dollars per month and wi-fi bill can cost up to 50 to 60 dollars per month now your wi-fi bill can cost higher according to the plan you choose or the company you choose to go with your wi-fi plan so hydro plus wi-fi can cost you around 85 dollars per month and now the fifth monthly expense which is fixed cost which you can't avoid is transportation now depending upon where you will be living where you will get your job your transportation cost will depend hun agar tusi university or college de nede rehnde ho and your job is also very close to your house then you don't have to spend a lot on transportation when i was in university of waterloo i didn't pay anything for transportation in our fees all the transportation cost is already covered so we don't have to make any bus pass or we don't have to get any kind of pass and we can use our student id and and transportation is totally free between waterloo kitchener and cambridge but if you are coming in toronto for example if you are going to university of toronto york university ryerson anywhere then you have to pay for transportation cost now i want to also tell here it is very important you guys understand this point there is a presto card which you can use in toronto right so i will highly suggest that before buying any kind of bus pass maybe toronto bus pass which is ttc bus pass calculate how much it will cost you monthly for your transportation for example jado mai toronto move hui i calculated ki i will have at least two trips in a day i will go to my job come back from my job and it will cost me 325 dollar for one trip and 6.5 dollars for two trips so i calculated that it will cost me around 130 dollars per month and the bus pass will cost me around 150 dollar so it is cheaper for me to load my presto card instead of buying a bus pass which will cost me 150 dollar so try to calculate maybe you are living closer to your university or maybe your job is very close to your house so you might not need a bus pass you can just load your money in your presto card and when you want you can use it but if you will take a monthly pass 
doesn't matter how many times you use you will pay you will have to pay 150 dollars if you have to buy a bus pass it can roughly cost you around 150 dollars and you will get a student discount and the last monthly expense is the miscellaneous that is variable which will depend upon your lifestyle your personal preference maybe you are buying a car when you are coming to canada so car insurance car loan these expenses will add up. If you don't like to cook at home and if you like to eat outside, those expenses will add up and also your shopping expense and other expense. If you are coming as a student, then you might have to buy books. Hari master degree which I only bought two books only because because my professors said that you have to buy those. But apart from that, library has almost all the books a pdf books you get everything so you don't have to buy a lot of books and books are expensive in so how much monthly expense will occur in canada as an international student so 500 for rent 200 for groceries 50 for your phone bill 70 for your hydro and wi-fi bill 150 for your transportation cost which comes to total of 970 dollars now if you are renting an apartment which already have wi-fi and utilities including then you don't have to pay that 70 dollars and your expense goes down to 900 dollars so keep that buffer as well your shopping and eating out because at the end we are human and we like to enjoy right if you are coming to canada you should also enjoy a little bit but stay in your budget and try to save some money as well side by side and i hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoy you guys know please do subscribe like share comment and i will see you in my next video till then take care and bye bye